Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gunsmith. So, last time we were here fixing all these up, getting ourselves new pistols and what have you. Uh, let me just get these fixed up because my mechanics don't know how to do their jobs. So, we're going to start working on the MK2 because the last time we were working on the MK1, uh, this, this gun right here. And so far we're doing good. We've produced a few. If I go back up to this order, it will tell me. we got 60 out of 180. That's not good enough. Money's doing all right. And I've realized that we're having production issues because we keep running out of these, so I'm just buying these by the shitload. I could have it auto-purchase, but eh, I'd rather keep my eye on it. So, we're going to go to cookbook. MK2. I am pretty... So oh, oh, it's a little bit more intricate. Okay, so... I'm thinking just have it go to the side. Do this one first. Once again, kind of doing this backwards, but I want to make sure I have space for everything. So in the corner like so. And of course aluminum and metal. And steel, I mean. Alright. Then we're gonna go that. Heat level one. That's how it's going to set up. So that's our setup right there. Uh, nope. Kind of? Yeah? No? Maybe? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, this doesn't work. So this works. There we go. That works better. So. Theoretically, you know, that should all work appropriately. I want to make sure that my machines aren't really over... Like, I want to try to keep them all condensed in about the same area. This makes it a little bit trickier, but... Eh, is what, oh, my God. Do I need to double up on these machines? Yeah, I got to pretty much double up on everything. Fuck. Okay, so... Let's get to it. How big is this damn thing? Pretty fucking big, yeah. Okay, so if I do... And then... Why does this look wrong to me? Like, I'm sticking this in here. Am I the only one that sees that? Anybody else getting that feeling? A little, a little weird. Makes me feel a little awkward. Um, hmm. Can I fit more? I do, like... Maybe? Big maybe. Very big maybe. little tough I do like this maybe we're gonna go up he's gonna get closer to each other This all kind of works. Yeah, yeah, like that, that works. Okay, so, hmm, a little, little finicky on that. His break room basically doesn't exist now, but as you know, so long as this door is open, that's fine. Uh, uh, that, that, that's fine. My machine? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Now these all should be set to produce one aluminum. Steel. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice. They have uh, strict descriptions now. I don't know if that changed recently. I've just never noticed that. Okay, cool. 
so we're gonna go this. And the bot wow, we're not even going for blocks anymore. And it wants the MK2, I'm assuming. SA body. Huh? Oh, it's gonna start off with this and it's gonna mold it into Oh. Oh, that's how it works. And we're gonna go here. One of these is gonna produce well, they're both producing cylinders. One's gonna produce the slide. Wait, slide? Arrow. One produce the no. You're gonna produce a barrel. You're gonna produce the suppressor. By the way, the term silencer is incorrect. It's not silencer, it's suppressor. That's the correct term because in the in the military I guess in, not in the military field, but just when it comes down to guns, a lot is incorrect what you see in games and movies. Because they call it a silencer, they call it a you know, they call them bulletproof armor. That's all incorrect. The correct term for anything of that sort, especially armor, it's not bulletproof armor, it's bullet resistant. And I know people can be like, oh, what's the difference? Bulletproof, proof implies nothing will ever break. That's like saying um, childproof locks, guaranteed no kid will ever break it. Um, dog proof toys, your dog will never break it. That's it never broken, never damaged, never, that's it. Never, never, never. That's the word. But when you say it's resistant, yeah, it can break. Yeah, it can fall apart. But it's durable. That's basically the point. It's designed to be durable to this. Will it? Can it break? Yes, absolutely. So the term bullet resistant is the proper term because it implies that yes, it will protect you, but there's no guarantee that it will consistently protect you. There's a chance at some point it's just going to finally fall apart if it takes enough damage. So, and the same thing with sil silencer. Silencer implies it is absolutely silent, not one peep will come out of it. That's not true. It just suppresses the noise. It just puts it down a little bit. Um, if you're in a building with five other people and they're in five different rooms and you shoot off a gun with a suppressor on it, they're still going to hear it to a degree. Maybe one or two rooms, it would sound more like the cat dying, you know, getting squished. But someone else, it's going to still sound like a gunshot. So a silencer is not a correct term. They were trying to make suppressors legal for that matter. It's because of the fact that, like I said, people misinterpret the term or, or misinterpret what it is, mostly because of video games and movies, because especially, especially video games make it out that if you have a suppressor, you're basically God. You can go in, take out everybody, and no one will ever give you problems because nobody can hear you because now you're super sneaky. Not true at all. The reality is the suppressor can still be heard. It just to, de uh, depends on distance, but it does dampen the noise. So, yeah, don't 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 believe everything, guys. So that, that's why when I saw that, I'm like, no, silencer's not correct. It's suppressor. I mean, it's the term. Like, you know what it is. So technically, the term isn't incorrect. Like, yeah, you know what it does. So suppressor or silencer could work. But if you really wanted to be on point with it, suppressor is actually the proper term. Uh, okay, so these guys all got to link up to heat. So let's just neaten this all up a little bit. Nope. Nope, it's gonna be a douche. Nope. God damn it. Uh, hmm. Eh, not a problem. So. Nope. It's gonna be heat too. It's gonna be chill too. And then. Damn it, come on. Alright, I'm just gonna have to do it manually. Um, hmm. That's a problem. You know what? I'm gonna scooch it over. I'm just gonna it's gonna overshoot, but it's it's fine. Yeah, that that's it is what it is. So anodizing. Yeah, we're get we're kinda cutting it close a little bit with the space. I'm gonna move it over that way. That works for me. Machine is just gonna take it. 
And then, nope. Oh, end of the line. And then we need this thing, Bobber, and it's good. Sweet. Okay, so not everything is ordered to produce shit. Um. Okay, so that's all good. You're gonna produce metal bars. You are gonna produce gun components. Gonna anodize. Ooh. This doesn't need anything special, no. And it should just go from there. Yeah, that should do it. Now, if I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 16, so we're a little bit over, we're a smidge. Um, they start producing, they go in there, it's not going to be a problem. Um, now the only problem is, they ain't got anything to produce. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, wow, I'm 100,000 under, oof, that's no bueno. Okay, so we need to go to orders. Damn it. Okay. Uh, oh, damn it! Shit. Okay. We're at least back in the black, so that's good. Um, gonna take that. And that. Do this one. Oh my god, that one was just 200,000. Holy shit. Is it working? Shit, it's not working. Fuck. Okay, I gotta turn these off. I didn't think that. Damn it. Okay, power them off. Shit, it's not anodizing them. Because there's no power to it. Damn it. Okay, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Damn it. Okay, let me get a new station up. Just in case. Okay, so... Because it's going right through. It's not even storing them. I figured that what would happen is... I, I didn't even think of this. My theory was that as these are all produced, it's all just going to go in here, and it's just going to sit in here because there's no power. It's nothing going through it. I didn't think that the fact that it was just... Like, like the heat... I didn't think it would just go straight through... I completely forgot about it. I was treating it like one of these machines where it stores the item until it's able to be used. Oh, that fucking sucks. Okay, so... A little bit of a maze for our guys, but yeah, this all kind of works. Um, I might just leave the, the factory the way it is. Um... Just because of the fact. I give my guys plenty of TVs. No excuses, you guys can't watch TV. You get a TV. And you get a TV. You all get TVs. And you get the chair too. I'm trying to brainwash my guys now. Put a spare, spare couple chairs around. This is the messiest break room ever, but screw it. That works, kind of. 
Alright, uh, you know, machines are doing alright. Uh, actually, ooh, no, those, they are not doing alright. Oof. It'd be nice if the guys I'm paying would do their fucking jobs. But, you know, only, you know, only if. Uh, let's see. Can I, I'm just gonna hire a bunch more mechanics and hope for the best. I don't need all these guys. I'm just waiting to see a whole brigade. Ah, oh, file line. I like these guys already. Really? I only hired like six dudes? Really could have swore I hired like triple. Alright, eh, whatever. Hmm, this is what it is. So, I don't know if I want to add any. God. Damn, this machine's already burning. Uh. Fuck, I don't have any money. Almost there. Uh, we need you. And you. And you. Boop, boop, and a boop. So, yeah, I didn't realize how much money I had spent, like a dingus that I am. But that is all good for now. Um, uh, I want to buy more, but I can't. I, I want to make sure this machine, this factory is running for a good long while. It costs so much money just to produce one pistol. And I don't even have enough money to produce... I don't even have enough money to buy a new factory. Shit. Alright, so... Can I fit another one of these? I'm just looking at this. I'm, like, trying to picture. Can I maybe fit another one of these lines? Because I'm thinking maybe... I mean... Uh... Right now what I'm thinking is I want to use up the space. Right? And what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about building another one of these setups right here. And then having it built around here and then connect to this machine. And then just let it pump in. But it's just going to produce the same amount of guns anyway. That doesn't really help me. I, I'm, I'm wasting more money that way. Um, so it's not really a valid option. Do we ever get SMGs done? Oh no, we got those done. Uh, I can't even do that yet. Cheat. Uh, let's see. That goes there. I can take. Jesus, we're still losing money. Uh, how long until I get more orders? 47 seconds. Alright, um. Let me bump out the orders that are just gonna linger. Ah, uh, yeah. So let me just get rid of all these. I gotta wait for more orders. That's it. I, I can't. I can't do anything. I mean, my company's getting close to bankruptcy. Can you imagine that? The reason why, you know, why my company goes under, not because I spent, oh, I mean, I did spend money like an idiot. But not only because I spent money like an idiot, but because we got into guns. Oh, speaking of which, guys, big day! We did it! Half a million! Yeah! We successfully killed half a million people. Oh god, it's horrible to cheer that on. Now you're probably wondering, Nick, why in the hell would you be cheering about 500 million? Because if we were able to assist in killing that many people, that just goes to show that we're doing something right with a military-based company. Is it good that people died now? No, of course, nobody wants anybody dead. But you know what? It's business. And right now, business is, well, well, it's not good. 
could be better. I can be totally honest. Actually, I'm curious now. How am I doing? There's reputations. So the United States, UK, and Germany love me. Germany just freaking adores me. China, you know, US is like, we're cool, we're bros. UK is like, yeah, with me. How's China and the US? Well, China and Russia. Uh. Yeah, the Chinese and the Russians don't like me very much. I wonder what would happen if I built a factory in China. I wonder if that creates any issues. I'm very curious about that. I don't know if building... F I think building in different countries does... Let me see. I wonder... It's like different laws. Huh. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. So I guess it doesn't really matter. It's like I, I can literally keep all my operations in the, the U.S. And all is good. No one really cares. Which is interesting. Oh my god, I'm losing so much fucking money. Shit. Oh, that's not good. Uh, alright, well... Considering my financial troubles, and considering that I've we've made our 500,000, plus the fact that we have hit, well, we've successfully built pistols, um, I guess I'm just gonna leave it there for now, guys. I know it's a little shorter than usual. Um, oh, wait. Uh, yeah, still just gonna leave it there for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter if you'd like to keep up with everything that's going on. Uh, if you like me, keep it, hit that like button. As always, see you guys around on the next one. We just hit that 100,000. See you on the next one, guys. Have a good one.